Hello there, just wanted to share with you guys some thrifty gardening tips by reusing food containers for your seedlings and transplanting them into the bigger food containers as they grow before you put them in your bigger pots or out there on your garden. So I've been using some yogurt cups and egg cartons lined with foil and the lid on the bottom of it for drainage. And they are doing very well. These are green beans and peas. They're, they've been there for about 10 days now. I gotta get them in the garden. So also another great idea here is reusing your cupcake, cake containers, pie containers as miniature greenhouses. So if you're at a party and you see a cupcake container, I would um, snag those and save them for your seedlings. Since the one that you buy for your seedlings are similar, they have those little miniature plastic greenhouses. You can do the same thing with these and they're free. So as they grow, I transplant them into the bigger food containers such as milk cartons, ice cream container, just wash them out um, thoroughly with soap and warm water. It's a, a ricotta cheese container there. I also have a frappuccino cup over there that I reuse for my bell pepper seedling and a strawberry um, jam container. Now these are food grade so I, you know, I'm sure they're safe and um, you can reuse them. Instead of buying seedling containers, you can just use what you have around the house and save money so you can start your garden and um, the thrifty way. All you have to buy is a seedling mix. They're about four to five dollars a bag for an eight quart bag. You can find them at a lot of the stores. I find them um, priced very well at Rite Aid or Walmart for the organic seedling mix. So anyways, also, um, another great idea to use for uh, your plants is you can also use the milk jugs as pots. You just need to put maybe holes in the bottom of them for drainage. Now, the ones that I use for my seedlings here, I don't put holes in the bottom. I just make sure I don't overwater. You know, I can tell by um, the weight of each container uh, if they have enough water in them. So, anyways, I hope that you enjoy this video and that you'll use some of these tips so you can get your garden started the thrifty way and start planting. Thanks for watching!